Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Boss Mac, back to gaming.com. And I know a lot of you guys are looking for a new laptop, and we won't beat around the bush and make this longer. I got the Gigabyte G5 gaming laptop right here. And in this video, I'll share with you why this is touted as one of the best, if not the best bang for the buck laptop available right now. Keep watching to find out more. I'm your boy Boss Mac, back to gaming.com. Intro. A lot of people are looking for a laptop right now, but budget constraints usually restrict people from the freedom of choice. Performance nowadays though has reached a point where mid-class systems are more than capable of providing good performance whether work or gaming. Many of you have been asking me for laptop recommendations that in-game and do other things like Photoshop, video editing, or 3D work. There was a time that my response was usually to increase the budget or save a bit more to get a gaming laptop. But if you're in the 50,000 peso range today, you're in luck because our friends at PC Central has sent me the Gigabyte G5 for review. Before I go in depth about the G5, I'd like to talk to you about the sponsor of our video, PC Central. PC Central is a computer store located in Quezon City with their own online store as well as Lazada and Shopee stores. You can check them out at all the links below and stay updated and by following them at social their social media at facebook.com slash pccentral.ph. They'll be having a sale this March 25 to 29 in celebration of Lazada's birthday sale. Discounts will be available for all laptops and all products at their store, including the Gigabyte G5 right here, as well as extra 1,000 peso vouchers for all Gigabyte laptops. PC Central sent us a Gigabyte G5, particularly the G5GD model, which is configured with an Intel Core i5 11400H, an RTX 3050 4GB laptop GPU, and is complemented by 512GB of storage, a Gen 4 NVMe SSD, mind you, and a generous 16GB of DDR4-3200 memory, and every spec all the specs is rounded off by a 15.6 inches 1080p 144Hz panel. The important bit here is price. At 49,999 pesos, it falls exactly at that price range that a lot of people are willing to fork out on a gaming laptop and still meet the bare minimum of a modern gaming system with its current spec. Let's check out the laptop's looks and design before we proceed to performance. Just like many laptop brands, Gigabyte has certain design aesthetic all to themselves. As a Gigabyte laptop, it's more businessy in look with the central logo at, at the top cover, breaking up what's a very uniform uh, design. So the Gigabyte G5 is made of plastic all throughout the case and the logo itself is printed on rather than a metal badge. This is done to reduce cost, but also makes this laptop fairly light, just a hair past two kilograms. It's a, quite a light laptop. Focusing on the I.O., the Gigabyte G5 features a USB 3.2 Gen 1 and USB 2.0 port on the left side. This is joined by a pair of separate audio jacks for mic input and audio output. Switching to the right, the laptop features a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C and Type-A ports and a sweet card reader which is a big plus point for photographers who want to check their photos or videos on their laptop without using extra USB devices. Gigabyte also utilizes the back edge for some extra I.O. space. Besides the DC input port, the G5 has a regular RJ45 port, LAN port at the back, and an HDMI port. And check this out, a mini display port. That gives this monitor another extra monitor option if you're using this in a multi-screen setup. Hopping over to the keyboard, the Gigabyte G5 features a 15-color RGB backlit keyboard. It's a simple, unicolor color backlighting, so no fancy RGB waves here. The screen is only decent, not as bright as other screens we've tested. 144Hz is fairly standard nowadays, but the push to go 165 or at least 400 nits in brightness is growing. Gigabyte went with a run-of-the-mill panel here, so nothing special, but definitely not a bad screen for work or entertainment. If you demand better quality, there are better laptops out there though. Last bit of testing is the webcam and audio. So I'm going to be recording directly to the laptop. So I am recording this directly into the laptop's webcam and I'm using the microphone, the internal microphone on this webcam so you can judge if the lighting, uh, if the quality is good or not. 
So uh, the lighting here, of course, I only have one light and some RGB at the back. Definitely some houses will probably have a uh, like fluorescent lamps up top or stuff like that. So if you're using uh, the internal webcam, lighting will definitely help increase the quality, but you can judge for yourself how good is the, the microphone and the webcam. One thing to note, I have the AC on right now and it's blaring really, really loudly. So I apologize for that, but also uh, should be a good test, especially for people who might have the same situation as I do. So uh, there you go. So this is the internal webcam for the Gigabyte G5. And with that said, how is the performance of the Gigabyte G5 GD? For the CPU test, you can check out the full review in my website. It's backtogaming.com. The link is down in the description. For this one, we'll be focusing on Photoshop with Puget Bend for Photoshop as our benchmark. So the score for this one is uh, 730. For reference, the base score is calibrated against the performance of a desktop 999K with 32 gigabytes of memory. Then we move on to video editing with Premiere Pro. Our score in Puget Bench 4 Premiere Pro that tests H.264 and red 4K footage to test out multicam and applying effects amongst other things, we get a score of 496 on average. Now this score is calibrated against a very powerful Ryzen 9 5900X desktop workstation and our score is roughly around 50% of that. For further comparison, our Ryzen 9 5900X laptop is scored only 693 on this test. With all of that out of the way, let's move on to gaming. Let's start off with our overall average. The Gigabyte G5GD with an RTX 3050 on 1080p averages around 115 FPS on our 13 game test. The result is bumped up by the eSports titles, but all of our games are well around and above the 60 FPS mark with the exception of Cyberpunk 2077, which is a very heavy game. Focusing on just eSports titles, the score for the G5 would be around 157 FPS. Again, all our tests are done in the highest settings in the game, so feel free to cut back on anti-aliasing or the shadow quality to get more frame rate if you like. Now, I don't have a benchmark for, El for Elden Ring, but here's a clip of Elden Ring for those that want to check the performance on a very recent game displayed on the Gigabyte G5 GD on this actual unit. And I've been struggling to benchmark Elden Ring because you can't really run around a fixed location and not have random things happening around you. But anyway, performance is decent and we're not seeing any dips in frame rate just in case you're really eyeing this laptop, the Gigabyte G5 for this game once you get it. Again, check out all the charts and benchmarks results in my website, backtogaming.com. Check out the link down in the description. The Gigabyte G5 GD doesn't have a solid cooling, but manages our CPU and GPU enough to tame them without sounding like a jet engine. In our AVX2 OCCT stress test, the CPU only stress bumps the, the temperatures for the CPU up to 85 degrees Celsius average. You will see up around 90 degrees Celsius, but it does hover around 85 degrees. The GPU sees itself rising from around 84 and peaks at 89 degrees Celsius. If you'll be using this laptop mostly for typing, uh, spreadsheets, or working with something like a corporate application, like an ERP system, you'd get the best thermal performance of the, from the Gigabyte G5 at power saving mode. You'll also save power in this setting, which should beat our, uh, our battery test score of around 2 hours and 20 minutes, which is done in balanced power setting. Our battery test makes its office work. Uh, teleconferencing, you know, Zoom, Discord, all those things, and browsing to simulate office use using just the battery. Two hours isn't that great, but I have to note this was done on maximum screen brightness, which is standard for our battery testing. All right, on to conclusion. When pitching this review to me, PC Settle told me that this is the bang for the buck laptop. And right now, I agree, agree with them. There are options out there with, for the cost a bit less with the same specs, but the catch here is this. This one has 16 gigabyte memory and then a Gen 4 SSD. And la a laptop with eight gigabytes of memory with the same specs, but only a uh, Gen 3. And again, that eight gigabyte of uh, RAM would cost you maybe 1000 peso less. But the upgrade here, when you need when you start needing that 16 gigabyte memory or the faster gen 4 ssd would drive up the cost further the memory upgrade alone would just be uh, would already be around 2000 pesos so keep that in mind 
objectively, there are some things that I want to nitpick, like the average screen color gamut and the plastic build. Other than that, if you want the best value for your money, the Gigabyte G5 GV right here is definitely an excellent choice. If you want something more powerful, you can definitely check out the G5 KV model from Gigabyte, which features a more powerful RTX 3060 graphics card, which should bump up the gaming performance even further, especially if you want to utilize that extra display port right here. You also get an HDMI, so two monitors, you can hook those up for a higher resolution with faster uh, refresh rate, or just two monitors for like maximum viewing, you can get the Gigabyte G5 KD for uh, 62,000 pesos at PC Central. Again, thank you PC Central for giving me the opportunity to test this laptop out and share my review to all our audience. You can buy the Gigabyte G5 GD and the Gigabyte G5 KD at PC Central right now and be sure to check out their store and take advantage of the Lazada birthday sale happening now where discounts will be available for all products including the Gigabyte G5 laptop as well as get an extra 1000 peso voucher for Gigabyte laptops. You can visit PC Central at their physical store at the second floor of Metro Focus Go to Tomas Morato, Quezon City or the order directly through their Facebook page or their website to take advantage of that same day delivery option. PC Central has been awarded as a top store by Acer and MSI in 2021 and is one of the fastest growing names in the business today. So you can rest assured this is a trusted store. With that being said, this has been your boy Boss Mac and back to gaming.com. If you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to like the video, comment the video and subscribe and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.